The Mi 11 Ultra is a distinctive phone. This is a big phone in every sense of the word, from its expansive dimensions to its considerable weight of 234 gram. The ceramic back of the Mi 11 Ultra gives it a super premium hand feel. But the gargantuan camera island up top is the most noticeable element of the phone. You will find the camera module also tends to rest directly on your finger when holding up the phone and the sharp edges can get pretty uncomfortable. But this module also includes one of my favorite features of the Mi 11 Ultra. Xiaomi has added a 1.1 inch AMOLED screen to the back of the phone for quick access of the notifications, the time, the music control. There's the standard USB-C port and dual SIM card slot. You will even find an IR blaster at the top. Other features include an in-display fingerprint reader and an IP68 rating from dust and rain. Over to the display, there's a whole lot to like here too. The Mi 11 Ultra 6.81 inch AMOLED screen has QHD plus resolution. There's a 120Hz panel rated for HDR10 plus content with peak brightness levels of 1700 nits. This panel is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. This screen is a delight to eyes, everything is super smooth and crystal clear. Watching content and playing games will make you love this phone instantly. It's got a Snapdragon 888 chipset, it's got 12GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 256GB of storage. The specs are all there but what really matters is how the phone utilizes all that power. It should come as no surprise that the phone blazes through all the latest and greatest games with ease. Games with 120Hz support run like a dream and I was able to max out Genshin Impact at the highest settings. Now let's talk about that unique camera module. Xiaomi has given everyone what they have always wanted from smartphone cameras. A giant sensor, the primary 50 megapixel shooter has a truly giant 1x1.12 inch sensor assisted by two 48 megapixel cameras for periscope zoom and ultra wide shooter. The primary camera shoots stunning images no matter the lighting conditions. The sheer size of the sensor lets you capture the details while ensuring the contrast levels are on point. Images look true to life despite the slightly warmer tones. I like the fact that Xiaomi went with a larger sensor over megapixels and it makes the primary camera one of the best you can get on an Android smartphone today. The large sensor also enables a gorgeous bokeh fall effect. The 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor is also very effective. There's minimal color variation and the phone captures the ultra wide detailed images even in low light conditions. The Mi 11 Ultra particularly shines in low light scenarios where the light gathering capacity of the main camera's large sensor is clear. The telephoto lens is great too. The 5x zoom isn't quite the same as on the S21 Ultra but manages to exceed the OnePlus 9 Pro. The 20 megapixel front facing camera on the Mi 11 Ultra is good too. It takes decent looking images in well lit situations but HDR performance is a bit lacking and it falls hard the moment lights start fading. The Mi 11 Ultra shoots superlative footage in 4K video at 60fps and can also capture 8K videos. Videos are super smooth with accurate white balance and sharp noise free videos even in less than great lightning. The phone have a good battery life too. With 5000mAh battery, it will last you a whole day of extensive use. It supports 67W fast charging, 67W fast wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging. According to Xiaomi, you can fill up 1 to 100% of the battery in just 36 minutes only. The new Galaxy S21 Ultra is Samsung's new phone with everything you want inside of it. It got more cameras, beefier specs and even S Pen compatibility. It is one gorgeous looking phone. In addition to phantom black color, there's also phantom silver color on sale everywhere. Samsung's own online store offers an additional three options, phantom titanium, phantom navy and phantom brown. Whatever color you choose, the matte finish of each color is a significant improvement over last year's S20 series. It's a big phone but easy to hold in hand because of curved display and overall narrowness. The carved edge to edge screen means the bezel is almost non-existent and the 40 megapixel front camera hides behind a tiny punch hole that's easy to ignore after a few minutes of watching a video. As for buttons and ports, we are getting a very similar setup to Galaxy S20 Ultra. The right side of the phone houses the power button and volume rockers. The left side of the phone is completely void of buttons or ports. 
and on the bottom you will find the USB-C port, speaker and SIM card tray. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is simply one of the best screens on a phone. It's bright, vibrant and doesn't make you choose between the highest resolution and highest refresh rate like its predecessor. You will be mesmerized when watching a videos on this phablet. The colors are as rich as ever and the viewing angles nice and wide. The Galaxy S21 Ultra screen is Samsung's first that's capable of running at a smooth 120Hz refresh rate while in a quad HD resolution. Both the Galaxy S21 Ultra and S21 Plus have a smooth Gorilla Glass back. This phone packs quad rear camera setup. There's a main 108MP wide sensor and 12MP ultra wide camera, which is complemented by a laser autofocus sensor. The Galaxy S21 Ultra will make you feel like a secret agent because it packs two telephoto lenses of 3x and 10x optical zoom. Having two telephoto cameras does seem downright ridiculous, but they offer different perspectives, 3x and 10x, all without having to go digital and hybrid zoom in between. The zoom functionality on both sides is optical. The new ISSL Bright HM3 108MP sensor brings improved focusing and low light performance especially when aided by the new laser-guided focus assist. The 108MP main camera can capture 12-bit HDR photos with rich color data and great dynamic range. Portrait mode photos generally looked good and had great edge detection due to the laser-guided autofocus sensor. Images are pretty clear and sharpness is very good in general. Plus, there's a 12-bit RAW file option in Pro mode. The quality of telephoto camera is quite good. The Galaxy S21 Ultra also performs quite well in low light thanks to a faster bright night sensor and 12 megapixel Nona binning technology for reducing noise. On the video front, this device can record 8K video up to 30fps and all of its cameras can capture 4K video at up to 60fps. There's a new vlogger mode that lets you use the front and back cameras at the same time for recording video and you can see live thumbnails of each camera while recording video so you can make a quick call if you want to switch. The Galaxy S21 Ultra's footage looks stunning, it delivers near movie quality results. Also you can feel free to move around a lot while shooting. Selfies also look quite good on the S21 Ultra. The sensor is 40 megapixel, but by default it will be down to 10 megapixel. The color is really great especially in good light. Even at night you will get a stunning image using front camera. The selfie camera can also shoot 4K video at up to 60fps and overall it looked great. Color and sharpness were just as good as the other cameras. Samsung has also introduced a couple of new features like Single Take 2.0 and Director's View. Single Take 2.0 can create multiple types of media from one recording of video. Director's View will let you switch between different viewpoints while recording video. It can also show a feed from selfie camera in the top corner which allows you to have multiple different viewpoints in one clip. Overall, the camera system in Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is one of the best you can get on Android. It's incredibly versatile. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is one of the first phones powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chip, which is complemented by 12GB or 16GB of RAM. Do whatever you want and the processor will support you along the way. If you are looking for a phone that can last all day, this is it. It comes with 5000mAh battery and supports 25W fast charging. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the biggest iPhone Apple has ever made and it's also the best. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is the kind of product Apple only releases once in a while. The kind that looks different is built on a fundamentally new technology and will ultimately form the basis of future iPhones for years to come. It has an attractive new design, a straightforward and complete approach to 5G, good cameras and even better performance. The shiny outer rim looks fancy but it also a magnet for fingerprints. Essentially, the design of the 12 Pro Max is just a larger version of the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro and despite the size it still fits well in the hand and it's easy to hit Siri or screen lock button on the left and the volume keys on the right. The notch on the iPhone 12 Pro remains pretty large but the true depth camera still comes in very handy for face ID. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is also tougher this time around. You will get a ceramic shield display upfront that's rated 4 times the drop performance as well as a better IP68 water resistance rating that goes down to 6 meters instead of 4 meters. 
With its 6.7 inch OLED display, the iPhone 12 Pro Max's OLED panel is smaller but brighter than the 6.9 inch Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This device also happens to offer the most color accurate display we have ever tested. The only thing missing from the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a smooth 120Hz refresh rate display. The iPhone 12 Pro Max offers the best cameras on any phone. It comes with quad rear camera setup, you will get 12 megapixel wide, ultra wide and a telephoto lens and also there is a time of flight 3D scanner. It has a larger main sensor than the iPhone 12 Pro which is designed to deliver an 87% improvement in low light conditions versus the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The main lens on the iPhone 12 Pro Max also features a fast 1.6 aperture and a lighter sensor for the faster autofocus. You also get a 2.5x optical zoom from the iPhone 12 Pro Max's 12 megapixel telephoto lens, which is behind the Note 20 Ultra's 5x zoom but is better than the 2x zoom on the iPhone 12 Pro. The camera does a superb job in low light. The iPhone 12 Pro Max camera's Smart HDR3 capability also did an amazing job. The iPhone 12 and Pixel 5 were more evenly matched in portrait, but the iPhone does a better job rendering face, especially in the shadow. You can take great selfies with the 12 megapixel front facing camera. However, the rear facing cameras deliver a much punchier performance and are especially impressive in mixed lighting conditions with natural skin tones and good ability to bring out low light detail. The result is simple, if you want to take the best pictures with an iPhone, you can't look anywhere else but the iPhone 12 Pro Max. You can record 4K video at 60fps and the video quality is mind blowing. When it comes to sheer performance, the A14 Bionic processor in the iPhone 12 Pro Max paired with 6GB of RAM has no equal. The gameplay remained as fluid and smooth as console. This phone supports every flavor of 5G including sub 6GHz and MMOF. One of the biggest reasons to buy the iPhone 12 Pro Max is the extra endurance you get from its larger battery. It comes with 3687mAh battery with 20W fast charge support. The Mate 40 Pro is almost bezel-less and has a dual selfie camera cutout on the top left side of the screen. You may be disappointed to know that the display has carved edges, which is indeed visually pleasing but often doesn't benefit the user experience and even creates problems, such as accidental touches. However, Huawei has said that the Mate 40 Pro has enhanced mistouch prevention algorithms. As for the overall design of the Mate 40 Pro, it's fairly standard. Its power and volume buttons are on the right side like they are on the most phones and the back of the Mate is very clean looking except for the camera module. Let's talk about the display because it deserves a lot of attention. It's a 6.76 inch OLED panel with 90Hz refresh rate. It's a beautiful piece of technology and if you don't mind the carved sides, you will be very pleased looking at it 24-7. The display of the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is very bright and the color accuracy is almost unprecedented. Clearly, it's one of the best features of this phone. At first glance, the performance of this phone is smooth and snappy. During our uses, we didn't experience any stutters but that was to be expected considering the processor and the GPU inside. Powering the Mate 40 Pro is Huawei's own Kirin 9000 processor and 8GB of RAM. That processor is also 5G ready, meaning the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is a 5G smartphone. According to Huawei, the Mate 40 Pro and Mate 40 Pro Plus also sport the most powerful GPU ever seen on a Huawei device. The main attraction on this phone is arguably the large donut-shaped camera module on its back with big Leica branding. The camera app is intuitive and easy to use. You have up to 50 times zoom as well as an ultra-wide camera, which was to be expected from a 2020 flagship. Smartphone camera enthusiasts will be happy to know that along with night mode, it also have a pro mode in the Mate 40 Pro camera app, which lets you configure your photography settings manually if you wish to do so. The camera setup consists of three cameras, two of which are borrowed from the P40 Pro, the wide-angle main camera and the telephoto one. The main camera here is 50 megapixel wide lens and it also have a 20 megapixel ultra wide lens and 12 megapixel periscope lens. Photos taken in broad daylight look really good. There are lots of details, the dynamic range is just great too. The ultra wide camera, which is the new one, is a pleasant surprise. It matches the quality of the main camera with no visible color shift or other disturbances when switching between the two. It's really great, although not so ultra wide, it has an 18mm equivalent lens.
The telephoto lens offers 5x optical zoom, but what's really impressive is the 10x hybrid zoom. At times, it's even better than the optical zoom. Speaking of software algorithms, the master AI takes care of all the settings depending on the scene you are shooting. Low light photography has always been one of Huawei's strongest features. The same applies to the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. The night mode algorithms are doing their job flawlessly and the results are something comparable to normal daylight shots. The selfie camera on the front produces nice photos with a healthy skin tone and a decent amount of detail. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro can shoot 4K videos at 60fps and you can also zoom in and out while recording. This option is usually resolution dependent but here you are free to use it in 4K or 1080p. Recorded videos are great too and the image stabilization isn't overly aggressive. As expected, instead of Google Play Store, we have Huawei's App Gallery to get our apps from this phone. There is a decent number of games and apps there, with some popular ones like TikTok and Viber present, although you will not find the likes of Facebook, Instagram or Skype. The Mate 40 Pro features a 4400 mAh battery that is more than capable of carrying the phone through two days. It comes with 66W fast, 50W fast wireless charge and 5W reverse wireless charge support. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the most advanced big screen phone so far because it's much more than a phone. It's a highly evolved note taking device. Samsung has made its most elegant looking phone yet with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The squared of edges combined with the sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner of his vibe. The finish does a good job of resisting fingerprints. The massive 6.9 inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold and colorful. More importantly, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The display is exceedingly bright and is fairly easy to read in direct sunlight. When using the display, scrolling is super smooth and fast. You can always choose 60Hz manually if you want to save battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features triple rear camera setup plus a laser autofocus sensor. The camera array starts with a 108MP wide camera with a 1.8 aperture and it's paired with a 12MP ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. The 12 megapixel telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50x super resolution zoom. The zoom lens delivers amazing quality. Every time you zoom into something, you will be surprised by the distance it covered and the details it captured. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's night mode is good, but it's not quite as bright or colorful as the iPhone 11 Pro. Pictures taken with this device deliver stunning quality with great details and colors. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better results than the iPhone 11 Pro in close-up shots. If you want to record the sharpest video possible, you will be pleased to know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can record 8K video with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There is also a new Pro Video mode that lets you control the focus, exposure and zoom speed. The 12 megapixel selfie camera up front has a 120 degree field of view, which should come in handy for group selfies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra benefits from a swift 9ms response time for its S Pen which is designed to deliver more of a pen-to-paper feel when taking notes or drawing. It's one of the fastest Android phones around and it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon's 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by up to 10% to 3.1 GHz and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. This processor is paired with 12GB of RAM and either 128GB or 512GB of internal storage. As you would expect from a premium flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports both flavors of 5G. You will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500 mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. It comes with 25W fast charging. It also supports wireless charging and 9W reverse wireless charging. It offers a best-in-class display, a better S Pen experience and a boatload of new features for work and play. The cameras are stellar, fixing the focusing problem with the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the powerful zoom and Xbox gameplay give the Note 20 Ultra an advantage over the upcoming iPhone 12.